Okay, so disconnecting the fuel line, I've got the Company 23 fuel line tool. I uh, found that just taking one side and sticking it in, and of course I didn't grab a rag to get the fuel that leaked out. That's okay. Let me do this real quick. All right, so I was able to manage to get both sides of the tool in on the, oh God, uh, the return line. So that's disconnected. I'm thinking I'm actually gonna go ahead and pull the fuel rail out, or not fuel rail, but the fuel lines all together. Okay, so pulled the uh, feed and return line off. <clears throat> uh, just don't forget that your vacuum source, which will be changing for me soon, but comes off uh, the port four for the manifold. So if that's out the way, let me put that up. I'll just set that in the box right there. By the way, I do have some stuff I'm gonna be putting on this thing. Uh, mainly that would be probably one of the first things I swap out. So, got all that out. Did leak a little fuel on the, that's all right. It's probably gonna be a few weeks before this thing runs again, so I'm not too worried about starting a fire. Does not work. It was short so, think about what I want to do next. I think I'm going to go ahead and pull the PCV off. I do have the IG air oil separator that's supposed to be here tomorrow. That will be going on. I'll probably do that. With, that'll be one of the things I do do when I do the when I put it all back together. I still need to get the uh, AVCS plugs, which I'll go ahead and do that right now. So. I think I've done under the car for the day. I'm going to put this over here as well. Alright, so let's see if you can see this over here. So, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the main. Which. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's right. Just. I've got to pull that. I don't know if I can hold both one hand and show y'all, so... That's gonna be challenging to say the least. Let me uh, 
me get it done and I'll show you what I did. So, while pulling up, I pried my screwdriver this piece, this, this tang up and out the way while I pulled up on it. So now, wiring harness is disconnected from there. I do need to pull this PCV off. Actually, I'll just go ahead and pull them both. If I can. Okay, sorry. All right, so now what I'm going to do, I'll come back in a little bit. My camera's getting a little low, so I'll, what I'm going to do next is go ahead and unbolt the TGV housings, get those loose, and then start working it up to see where I'm snagging. Uh, I'll be back. Okay, so after about 20 minutes or so, fiddling with it, finding it, getting it a little bit looser, working it loose and finding where I still had to unplug it's out uh, do need to clean it up as far as you know I pulled some of the PCV related hoses off instead of disconnecting the connectors I'm probably gonna go ahead and put them all back on and then pull this all out as one uh, although so with the AOS coming that's gonna change some of that anyway but another thing is I'm probably going to do a, uh, you know, clean up all that mess right there, you know, if you know what I'm saying. And I'm probably going to go ahead and order some pencil holders just to simplify the engine bay because, yeah, they are a hot mess. But as you can see, I do have, did have a lot of blow-by going did not drive the car very long once we found out, you know, I mean, we left it at the dealership. My wife drove it maybe a quarter mile to the dealership. They took it to Subaru. Um, Subaru, of course, denied the warranty, but whatever. Uh, they shipped it back to us and we actually had them drop it off at the house. So really since it, went bad the only place it's driven was i when i backed it into the shop so we'll see how the uh, oil pan looks and all that once i get it out <clears throat> but uh that's probably going to be it for today um yeah so what do you think should i go ahead and clean you know eliminate some of the extra uh vacuum routing I think so. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to call it a wrap for the day. I've been out here. It's surprisingly hot. Uh, for It was cool this morning. So I've kind of had it for the day. I got where I wanted to get. And I've got all week at least probably before the engine stand shows up. So until next time, I'll see you all later.